there should be a course uh, just on diabetic foot infections. Since diabetes is affecting the feet more than any part of the body, we need to be able to correlate that as far as for dealing with diabetes and what can happen as far as for eyesight, loss of vision, what can happen with other organs as far as for shutting down, kidneys, liver, things like that, pancreas. Uh, we also need to determine, uh, to be able to educate about the importance of your feet, the circulatory system, uh, the neurological component, and also to be able to incorporate in our allopathic schools the importance of going to a podiatrist and understanding that if you're going into primary care, if you're going into family practice, that you're going to have to start referring these patients to a podiatrist. And that podiatrist and that internal medicine doctor now can have that relationship because it can be on a referral type basis. If I know, there's many times I've had patients that come straight off the streets, never seen them before. And guess what the first thing they tell me? I don't have a primary care. It's my job now to find that person a primary care. So now as I'm referring to the primary care, the primary care is now referring back to me. And so I think if we change the education component in the medical schools, there's also ways where we can change the residency programs, uh, especially the podiatry residency programs, getting um, institutions to make sure that uh, these podiatry students understand the importance of treating diabetics, how to treat infections, and then also how to treat these, um, how to do surgery on these and them salvage type of procedures because this is where we're losing that. We, uh, today's students are not coming out with the knowledge of trying to uh, do limb salvage. And limb salvage, even though it's a, it's a unique specialty, it's a specialty that's not really discussed until after years of practicing and after years of being out because guess what? It's not really a requirement in residency programs. It's not really a requirement in the medical schools.